Okay, so the credit reel is the last project, and it, originally I was going to just save it with the the poster smash one, but um, you know the poster smash and the credit reel one do kind of take up a lot of render time, and uh, I, I thought the poster smash was was enough with the render time. I didn't want to double on it, but uh, even though this one's only about thirty seconds or so, it does eat up a lot of time, and there's and that's because there's a lot of different mats and uh, pre comps within pre comps. So again, this this render can take up a little bit of time if you decide to keep all the mats turned on. You can, of course, switch some off to speed up your time. Um, but let's look at simply just changing our placeholders. And if you worked in the pulp strip, it's very similar. So when you open up, you are going to be seeing the color presets controller and all the controllers you're met with with the other projects. Uh, but let's look at the credit strip main right there. Okay, and if you double click on that, it's going to bring you into the main timeline of the credit strip. And there again, you're gonna see all the film controls that you've been using for the other projects that I've been explaining. Color preset controller, lens grind mixer and all that. Uh, moving down, your flicker control as well as your grains. Your scratch mat that you can drag and drop or switch or shut off if you wish. I don't want to use the scratch mats right now. You can shut them off and decide to overlay them in Premiere or Final Cut later on down the road. Um, I'm going to keep it on for now. But to change the text here is simply just see this placeholder reel. And we can double click inside there. And we're going to have this once again elongated comp which is our strip so that we can see everything going on here if you hit the letter H that's going to bring you to your hand tool you can just simply move up and down here and you're going to see these markers okay and these are going to be where the text starts so you have a good idea of which placeholder at what point these texts kind of kick in so if my at this point if I'm at the uh, title here where it says uh, 75 4k mats you know I know that because I'm mar it's marked right here for me so I can certainly just double click on there and again I'm gonna have more controllers the same ones uh, but again our drag and drop mat system here there's gonna be a lot of mats used for this particular uh, project and these are gonna be the things that are adding a lot of render time so if you didn't really care to have everything on you can certainly just turn these off like the fire dust and the fire burst and you know you should see your your speeds kind of quickly jump up okay and when you want to change your text all you have to do is look at this text comp right here and you can just double click inside the text I have no idea why I typed that it just came to me so deal with it and that's it. And that's all you're going to have to do to change your text. 